So whenever you need smaller projects in the garage, don't worry about child labor laws. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and use children for, if you have any around the house, put them to work. Make them work off that food and mortgage and stuff. So, right? <laughs> Faster child, too slow, higher rate of productivity. I'm gonna dock you an hour's wages. What? You don't even know what that means, do you? No, I don't. Okay, well, so we got some uh, bolt caps. This is her favorite thing to do. We got some of these zero oh, crown no. bolt caps here. This won't fit. It won't fit on. Well, that's what I say. Get it on as best you can. Whoops. Drop it on the floor, make sure it's lost forever. <laughs> Just stick it on the best you can, and then I'll use a rubber mallet to tap it on the rest of the way. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> so, a little bit of dress up there. These guys, I got mine on Amazon. They're really expensive for what they are. It's plastic caps to cover your little nuts and bolts, but finishes off the bike nice. So here, I haven't finished tapping those on, but there you go. Cool, huh? There's one really deep. I don't think I can. There's one it. what? Like right there. Uh, that, I don't think we even have a cap for that. That's the transmission or fake. We don't have one for that. So just put on what you got. Right? But um, not that funny? No? Um, no? I Honestly. Okay. All right. Smart Alec. So I'm even jacking the bike up for you so you don't have to crawl under it. Isn't that nice? Yeah, good, but I wouldn't do it either way. It's kind of nice, Dad. I am. Smart Alec. Why? Why was it so scary me jacking the bike up? She said, This is scary. And I said, You think this is the first time I've ever done this before? And she said, No, you've done it how many times? Uh, three. Three. Three? Yes. Three. One, two, three. Um, three. Four. <laughs> Four motorcycles. Ah, 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 ah. Like the count from uh, Sesame Street. So, get on the other side, get to work, child. Come on. Um, Earn your keep. So, you got to do all. Oh, I didn't uncap the other side. I haven't done my job. Hang on. All right, so you're obsessing about this. Yeah. So, I did a short earlier about. This mega evil moth that that second ago its other wing was open. It looks like an owl's face or something. Comment below, what is that thing? So it was on that little sign my niece made me, and I gently, gently. gave it a little yeah, knocky knocky. Yeah, gently. And it. Sure. And um, it just kind of fell down there. So she's very concerned. Like, I don't have a moth doctor or something I can take it to. It's dying. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't think it's dying. I, think I can it's blow on it with that compressor right there. What do you think? Yeah. Man, I got a mess to take care of. Do it. Why? Because I want to see it happen. Okay, well, hold the camera. We'll, we'll blow on the. Don't yeah. put your fingers in front of the. Okay, I'm not. I want to see this happen. <laughs> Woo! It moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. It, it's trying to block. <laughs> now we'll leave it alone but now at least you get to see it's really cool like fake owl wing or yeah. owl eye wings well, those are wild know right that he's maybe alive ah maybe he's nocturnal all right back to work child she wants to be a star no, I don't. <laughs> everyone's gonna say i can't believe you let that baby out of that jack it's it's locked in place it's not going anywhere and she's not under it calm down dfs is gonna be my house tomorrow or something so how many you got left? Um, how many have you dropped? Um, one, I'll be picking these off the floor for a month. Two, three, four, five, six, well, there's seven, about eight of them I know of that we're not using because there's different caps over on the other side. I think I've dropped like 20. You dropped 20? Awesome. That's great. Okay. I'll pick them all up. Oh, I see a few. That's great. So you're going to finish those up? You about done? I have what about here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to uncap those though. See these on top of the transmission? Mm -hmm. You got to do those too. Let me get, let me pop those off and you can do those. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, shoddy workmanship, you missed one. No, I didn't. Just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so did you get all the bottom ones? Um You gotta do uh maybe. these two. Here. 
That's the transmission top cover. You gotta do that one. So the reason we're doing this and why it's of such significance, let me flip the camera around, is this bike is sort of a modern family heirloom. We bought it new in 14 for her grandfather. And he rode it for a bit and we did a lot of work together. What? I'm hearing caps just flying. Um, and my dad and I worked together a lot on it. It's not fun anymore. So um, now she works on it with me. So just little things like capping it off, but someday this will be in her garage. This will be her bike someday. So whether she rides or not, I don't know. But And then many, many years from now, if somebody gets in financial trouble and it's worth something, there you go, it's an asset. But you find some more? You look devious. Okay, so I took my dad's phone. Hey. What? What What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. I didn't, I'm not doing anything. Are you, why, why is that bolt cap here? <laughs> there's weird things happening over there. It's got bolt caps on places that there's, there's not even a bolt. I got them. Good thing we capped off that. <laughs> da ding ding. All right. Give my phone back. Uh, what do you mean? I don't have your phone. Give me your phone. I don't have. I don't. I don't have your phone. <laughs> this is my. Fire is an assistant. What? I don't. I don't. No, you. Can, you can't fire me. You can't fire me. Why not? Says she bailed on me. <laughs> so she finished. This is actually the next day. So she finished all the uh, little detail caps uh, on the motor. It will show real quick. So these little guys. These are. Uh, the most profitable motorcycle part you could ever buy. These are Ciro uh, engine caps, they're plastic, and I got a good deal on them, I think on sale, with like a coupon on their site. I think I paid 45 for the set, but <clears throat> $45 for a bunch of little chrome plastic caps. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> and I think, again, I think it was a good deal. I think I looked up that I paid, not for this bike, but I put them on, I think it was my old, Rogue Light Ultra, and I think I bought them on, on I can't remember what site I got those off, but I think I paid $70 for them like, it's a, a couple of years ago, so it's a good business. Get in the chrome bolt topper business. Anyway, so uh, got something today. So to finish out, or like one of the little details, besides I still need, as we've talked about many times before, I still need, you know, proper fishtails. Uh, I'm going to do the body later, which is going to involve a bunch of stuff, but that's months away, you know. A big investment, this, that, and the other. Oh, the chrome forks will be done here pretty quick. So a lot of little things, but some of those little details like capping off the heads, uh, the bolt caps, and then you also miss, you know, have your Serape roll, right? So there are companies that make these that are pretty well known. So I saw one at Sturgis this year that does a lot of Cholo stuff called CMC. Uh, looks like nice stuff. They're real proud of it. So their, their Serape roll that you put on like, you know, back here behind your sissy bar, or you put it up at the handlebars where I'm going to put it. They get like 150 for a Mexican blanket and instead of a piece of strap, a piece of leather strap, and hold it on there. Looks like it's well made, but it's 150 for a blanket and a strap. I found it on Amazon for 80 bucks. So, um, I don't know where these are made. I don't know where CMCs is made, but uh, and I'm sure you can get them in other places. But let's get into this and see but I mean that's I, I did black and gray because I live in a black and white state I'm not going to go into whole club stuff but just being respectful of colors and stuff um so let's see so first impressions is it's a nice Serape I mean it says right here and I like this there's a note in here that says border town industries thanks for your purchase uh our stuff is handmade and therefore there may be irregularities here and there I like that I mean I, I'm not sure where it comes from it doesn't say whether it's you know, whether it's Mexico or I don't know, it could be, could, could be Ecuador, could be who knows what country they're getting it from, but um, it could be coming from Asia. I don't know. It doesn't say so, but I just like the recognition of that. You know, please leave a product review. The leather looks good. Let's see. I look for made in marks. I really do. And I can't see, you know, where it's coming from, but I like the studs and stuff. That's cool. All right, so let me figure out how to put this on. Essentially, this, uh, you know, leather knight <laughs> ball gag kind of looking accessory is going to go around. This will be easier in here because you see these new bars don't even have a clamp. So this is going to be probably pretty easy on this bike, but uh, let's go ahead and put that on. Just a fun accessory. Not exactly something I'd call an install video. Like, this is how you put a blanket on the front of your bike with a leather strap. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe it's perfectly appropriate for this channel. Like, hey guys, here's a blankie in case you get cold. That's kind of the dumb shit I do. So here's your review. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, what else do you say about a good piece of leather? Cut the right way, cut straight, good hardware. Uh, the center straps going right between, even if you had a clamp or not, I think it looks really cool. And this bike actually, even though they were a pain in the butt, the fact that it doesn't have, you know, center clamp. Uh, but yeah, I mean, dude, if, you, if you're trying to put a Serape roll on your Cholo bike, 80 bucks instead of 150. I'll put the link down below. They had a bunch of colors and stuff. Again, I, I, before someone says, what are you talking about? So the, the dominant club in my state's colors are black and white. And so I just didn't want to go with colors that could draw attention. You know, like why, you know, <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's, is it something to worry about? No, I don't mean to make a big deal out of it, but I mentioned it earlier, so I should explain. So I just figured black and gray is good. So it looks cool. You know, I'm, I'm the one making it crooked, but looks real nice. I like it a lot. So if you're looking for one, it'd look cool on a bike that's not going full Cholo too. If you just want to have something like that, an accessory in your bike. Again, up here, a lot of dudes put them on the uh, the back of their sissy bars. It's not a backrest, it's a sissy bar. Uh, back here, you know, above the plate. So you can do that too, but there you go. And again, I'll put the, the link to the caps if you want that for your bike. If you want to spend 50 bucks on plastic caps, you can do that too, but there you go, guys. Hope everyone's well out there. Come join us this Friday. Today's Tuesday. I'll upload this tonight, I guess. Let's do a premiere. What the hell? I feel like I'm having a beer. I have 3 a.m. calls all week. It's great. Who needs sleep? Um, but don't forget, Friday night, 8 p.m., we'll be doing a live stream again. Me and the wife. Maybe out here. Maybe in the house. Depends on the temperatures and the hotness and the coldness. Of, no, forget. Leave it alone. All right. So take care of each other, other. We'll talk real soon. Bye.